Welcome back to the Hockey Show, and today, or tonight, we are going to be talking about game number three between the Florida Panthers and the New York Rangers, where the Miami Cats are unsuccessful at <laughs> defending home ice against the New York Rangers, and the Rags take it 5-4 to four in overtime after a doozy of a game. Now, before I say anything, and before I get anywhere and say any opinions that can get thrown accusations of me liking one team or not, which are completely true, regardless of me saying anything or my thoughts, my without a doubt, this was the most fun game of the playoffs so far. This had everything in it you wanted as a hockey fan, except a fight which Matt Rempe existing in it kind of feels like it was a fight in Matthew Kachuk with and Sam Bennett with these kind of players in it it just feels like a fight happened anyways right this game had amazing crazy goaltending a lot of goals it had skill it had hits it had physicality the comeback it had a story there were stakes this game really felt like a movie right this one was a true classic and I, I the only thing burdened by it has to be that it was on ESPN with the worst commentators and worst intermission analysts in the world that I couldn't, though I had to leave during the intermissions, like I could not watch them, like I, I cannot stand, I like P.K. Subban, but Mark Messier and that douchebag, whoever the hell that is, like on, the, at that desk, whatever, Dan Levy or whatever his name is, whatever his name happens to be, uh, can't stand them, right? And this game, though, this game was absolutely unreal and was so fun to watch. Absolutely so fun to watch this entire game. Sam Reinhardt gets the first one of the game, gets the sixth, and it looks like the Panthers are getting things hot off the bat, right? They were just going already. And then immediately, crazy goals by Lafreniere and Barclay Goudreau get them the lead. Lafreniere was on a heater tonight, right? He was the absolute, just like, genius of the Rangers, right? And lucky for the Rangers... Because without the the efforts of three players this game, this game is for nothing. Because Lafreniere and Barclay Goudreau are on a mission to just, especially this Barclay Goudreau the last couple games. But Lafreniere and Goudreau tonight were on an absolute mission of their lives to say, we're not losing this one. And then the man who said, I'm buying into this, I'm like he, if he was like a shark on Shark Tank and decided to invest, was Igor Shesterkin. That man right there absolutely unreal this right here igor is the god is absolutely true this goaltender igor shesterkin if the new york rangers win the stanley cup i swear to god it doesn't matter if even if panarin or trocek or anyone decides to get 20 points somehow in the last uh, six wins that they need to win the stanley cup with I don't care. The only reason to this point of the the first, uh, what, 12, 10 wins of the playoffs that the Rangers have gotten so far are all, absolutely all, maybe not so much the Capital Series, but 100% of the proceeds need to be given to Igor Shostakhin. He has been absolutely unreal. And in this game against the Panthers without him would just be the Panthers game without a doubt. The Panthers were absolutely unreal okay the rangers were so lucky this game absolutely lucky and if there is a rangers fan in this comment that wants to go down below or any ignorant new yorker or any rangers fan wants to go out there and say that this was not the cats game you are either unintelligent you're either an idiot which is the same thing but you wouldn't know that and just completely insane or just know that you're absurd because you to think that this was the Rangers game was unreal because the Cats, the Panthers were the better team without a doubt. Shot attempts ended 108 to 44. 108 to 44. Shot attempts include shots, but those also include shots that go wide, shots that get blocked, any sort of shot that just ends up not going on net to be counted as a shot. Because I think shots actually ended up like. 27 to 20 or something like that like something crazy but the panthers were all over them like if it was an actual panther attacking like a five-year-old like the rangers were absolutely screwed un 
like they had no hope this game absolute not even close to hope there was nothing there was no church there was no anyone to look up to there is no hope for the rangers this game and the somehow the way they are able to escape and survive when they win this game is insane to me so to me anyone who wants to say otherwise is ridiculous right and that's where i would like to cut down a little bit to here the, the Panthers are plenty still in this series. If you if anyone thinks the series is close to being done, they're un they are so not close. This game the Panthers are at least winning one more game this series. And the Rangers, I would say, at least win one more game this series. But other than that, this one is either going to six or seven, without a doubt. There's no way this one ends in five. This is a six or seven game series. And I personally don't know where it's going. To me, I I am, in total honesty going for the Panthers shocker I know but in all honesty I the Panthers have been the better team overall over this series so far over the three games that they've played they are the better team without a doubt Shesterkin plus a couple of good performances by guys at timely events have been the game changer to keep the Rangers alive and the Rangers have only gotten two wins this series, right? The Panthers have been known to come back and they can shut down and shut out a series if they need to, right? This series is right on the pan. This game is the Panthers as well. The Rangers, the top six, did nothing tonight. Zabinijad, nothing. Panarin, nothing. Trocek was definitely the best of the top guys. But other than that, like, like, I mean, I cried or was literally invisible. Um, Adam Fox, once again, very much nothing. G Gustafson, another guy, just can't get anything going. Wenberg getting the game winner is just kind of hilarious. And it's just kind of like the perfect like metaphor for this game. The Rangers got lucky by... The, like, Wenberg, by the way, they said it. He has played 33 games since being traded. And this is his first goal since being traded from this team. That is hilarious to me. And, like, the Rangers are so unbelievably lucky. So lucky to be in the position that they're at. Because without Shesterkin, this team is nothing. And the Cats, like, they didn't give up too many things. I mean, look at each play, right? Lafreniere, his two chances were just kind of... His first goal is definitely, like, it's just kind of one of those plays where it's like, well... We should have done better, right? But then his second goal was just like, sometimes you can't stop a guy. And you can tell Lafreniere this was his night. And sometimes you just can't stop stop a player at all. And that was one of those times. Goudreau, though, he was just on a mission tonight. That tipping, like, you just sometimes just the perfect play happens. That's one of them. And then nothing you can really change about that. And then his second goal, like, shorthanded, like, that is definitely, like, the Panthers gave up two plays, and usually, usually you get lucky when you give up those two plays that either your goalie or the other player just doesn't make the perfect play. And the Rangers tonight, their two guys on the ice were making the perfect play possible. Now, let me make, I want to point this out too. The Truba elbow just getting a minor is unreal. Absolutely unreal. Just go to NHL Discussion. Just go to NHL Discussion and take a look on Instagram if you didn't see the play. This guy, who was known to be the captain, I don't know why he's the captain of the Rangers, unless their name were the New York Elbows, I don't believe it, because this guy, always one of the dirtiest players in the league, and the fact that he won the Leadership Award is crazy, of all, the, and all of the captains or all the players in the NHL to win it, him is really crazy. But this guy, you can see in the video, he's completely, like, out of play, right? The guy is over here. He's back here. He's lunging his way and sticking perfectly out his elbow. Like, there's literally no other intention in the world for what Truba is doing, especially with the history he has. He goes out, and right here, right here, the strong part of your elbow, like, Boom! Literally hits the guy right in the face. How is how does he? I think it was Rodriguez, right? Unreal, absolutely unreal. He is one of the dirtiest players in the NHL, and the fact that that was just a two is crazy to me. Absolutely crazy. But the Rangers, I don't know. I I just gotta say this this was a very fun game to watch, and it's not like the Rangers were 
totally like smoked like the first period was kind of close between the two teams but that third period and even the second period was just like that was the panthers dominating panthers dominating and then they lose and to me i don't know if this is a good or a bad thing for the rangers like looking forward because i don't know what this means like does does this make the panthers go we're not doing this again and then just absolutely do like do it again and destroy the rangers in game four or do the rangers go like let's go boys and then the panthers like feel defeated and they don't show up for game four i don't know what this means going forward for right now but what i all i know for right now for the facts is that the rangers up oh, i forgot to do my little art i apologize um yeah, now I feel bad for that. But anyways, uh, the Rangers are up 2-1 in this series. Two OT winners back-to-back -back now. And to me, it's just like this team, like, they need to get their act together. Because this is another game, and so far another series, where compared to once again, like the Hurricanes one, where the Rangers squad that is in front of them is not getting the job done. They're not, like, they literally were dominated. They had no fight against the Panthers tonight. Literally felt like they didn't show up, and they still won the game with Shesterkin and Net. right? What happens if, if they somehow are able to do this the rest of the series, and they go into the finals? When they play against the Stars or the Oilers, can they do this against a team that has Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl on the team? I don't know. Can they do this against the Stars? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. But against the Oilers, if they're going to play like this, I don't think so. But that's that's a whole other video and a whole other time to look forward to. But for now, this was a crazy game. Absolutely unreal. And to me, I still think this is the Panthers series to win. I think if the Panthers lose next game, I will say they're done for. And I know it's like, oh, well, we'll be 3-1. to one. Like, of course you will. But I think if the Panthers are unable to tie it 2-2 two to two and the Rangers get that one extra bump where all they need to win is one more game, they can get that job done. Even if the Panthers win one more after that, make it go to game six, I feel like the Rangers win that one. But to me, that's all I got to say. So thank you for watching this. I know this is kind of more just a ranty video, but what else? You, like, this was just an absolute nuts, nutso game. So I don't know what else to think. But that's all I got to say. So thank you for watching this. If you made it this far, please, I'm begging you, please subscribe. Please. And until next time, too sweet. Have an amazing day, and ta-ta for now. Uh...